Christy? Yes. Hey, I'm Claire. Hi, Claire. So nice to meet you. David from the Learning Garden sent me. Oh, thanks for stopping by. Oh my gosh, my pleasure. Well, David told me that you were the one to see for a new home gardener like myself. Oh, well, yes, I am a vegetable garden expert. And if you are trying to get started, I can give you a lot of tips on how to do that. I need a lot of tips, <laughs> so this is great, yeah. So I noticed you have a little orchard going on in your front yard. What are we looking at? Well, there are five fruit trees here, and they're all relatively young right now. This is a dwarf navel orange. Wow. Which has given us some great oranges so far. Um, and then back there, we have our little Meyer lemon tree. This is a kumquat, great for making uh, marmalades oh, and things like that. Yeah. And then we've got a Santa Rosa plum back here. Which I'm so incredible. jealous of you. And over here, we have our nectarines. Wow, so much variety here. I've never seen fruit trees in a front yard as a landscaping choice. It's the most unique front lawn on the block for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you like this, you'll love the backyard, so let's go check it out. Great. All right. So how long have you had this garden for? This garden is four years old. We built the raised beds, we uh, worked on putting in good soil, and we started planting things. This is what you have. Ta-da! Yeah, wow. here we are. <laughs> I noticed that like the celery over here and the kale back there, they all are so full and... Well, yeah, actually some of the things, like the celery, for mm -hmm. example, is already past its prime, uh -huh. so it's what we call, it's gone to seed, or it's okay. bolted to seed. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've stopped picking it, it's sent up its center stalk, it sends out flowers, and the flowers attract beneficial insects, mm -hmm. and then it sets seed, and we can collect the seed for either eating, consuming, or, or for planting for next year. All right, I have to ask, what is a beneficial insect? <laughs> <laughs> right, beneficial insects are, insects that actually help in your garden. Mm. So, for example, aphids are a pest. Well, ladybugs are a beneficial insect because yeah. they eat the aphids. Mm -hmm. And there are a ton of other beneficial insects that are attracted to your garden when you plant flowers that attract them. So, mm. it's part of your ecosystem. And you use no chemical pesticides or herbicides or fertilizers at all. Well, you use nature's pesticides, which are bigger bugs. Bigger bugs, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay, so zucchini is the next thing on our agenda of easy plants for beginning gardeners to grow. Great. And this is actually a volunteer. I didn't plant this. Are you it, serious? <laughs> oh my what, gosh, what a pushy volunteer. I know, you know, but they do better than anything you cultivate yourself on purpose. Yeah. So it's, as you can see, they're doing really well. So yeah. what you want to think about when you're growing zucchini mm -hmm. is that you need at least three feet of space because it's going to get big. I mean, look at the leaves, they're gigantic. Oh my gosh, I know, it's like prehistoric historic looking. <laughs> right. And as you can see, there are a lot of zucchini ready to pick. Yes. Okay, so since gardening is my expertise and cooking is yours, I feel honored to give you some of my zucchini to take with you so you can turn it into some fabulous dish, okay? Oh, I'm so excited. When you get a little more comfortable with gardening, I highly recommend homegrown asparagus. This is an asparagus plant, by the way. I can't believe that. It, I thought it was fennel fronds or something because it's so bushy and huge. Right, well, asparagus starts out the way that you see it in the grocery mm -hmm. store. So when you grow it, it starts out like this. Oh, yeah. And then, at some point, the tip actually, as it grows taller, the tip opens up, and then it becomes fronds like, oh like this. Oh my gosh. It's not difficult to grow, mm -hmm. it just takes a time commitment. And you're not actually supposed to harvest for the first three years that you grow it. Oh my gosh. That is, okay, that is definitely a commitment. So this is something that you're gonna work up to as yeah. you become a little <laughs> more, more experienced. But for now, I'm gonna show you how to plant a simple salad garden that you can maintain at your apartment. Oh, that sounds perfect. Good. All right, Claire, I'm gonna set you up with a small, manageable garden uh, for your apartment. This amount of space seems manageable for me. <laughs> good, good. So you really need to have a good quality organic potting soil. There's worm castings and chicken manure and bat guano and all of these things help your mm -hmm. garden grow better. And I know it sounds kind of weird. So say, they just touched that. <laughs> so um, this also has perlite in it, which is going to help with drainage. Mm -hmm. uh, in containers, you really need to have good drainage. Mm -hmm. So this container has holes on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And so when you water it, the water should flow through and uh, nothing will die. Yes. <laughs> okay. Finally. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to set you up with what I call square foot gardening. Oh. It's a much more efficient way of growing things mm -hmm. for the small gardener. So mm -hmm. I do this for a lot of clients and I'm gonna do it for you today. Wow. In square foot gardening, 
You take a square and you cut it in quadrants, mm -hmm. and then you put a hole in the center of each quadrant, and those technically are six inches apart. Oh. So you've got one, two, three, four. So we're gonna take our starts from the, from the nursery, okay. and usually you'll put them in your hands like this and then break apart the bottom just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And that is going to encourage the roots to spread out as you ah. plant them. Let's pull apart some of the soil mm -hmm. and drop in our lettuce Fantastic. seedling and then backfill and compress it just ever so slightly with okay. your hand. Mm -hmm. All right, your turn. Go ahead and dig a hole. You're gonna bury it back up to the same spot where the soil level okay. is here. Okay. And, then and then backfill with soil. Okay, and then just press it down a little bit. Compress it just a little. So then we're gonna put in some colorful lettuces. Actually, I like this red romaine here. Oh, it's beautiful, look Isn't at that. gorgeous? Here, go for this it. This already looks impressive. Lovely. And I love all the different textures. Exactly. So make a very pretty salad in the future. <laughs> and true, and you can also plant, along with your salad greens, you can plant arugula or mustard greens. Mm. And when you harvest this, mm -hmm. you're just going to pick the outside leaves. Mm -hmm. And then the centers will keep producing mm -hmm. all season long. You'll have salad greens from these four heads of lettuce for about two to three months. Wow. So combined with the drainage and not watering it too much, these should Thrive. These will thrive. <laughs> yes. Yes. This is as, this is as close as you can get to a foolproof garden. Thank God. I need that. I am I'm a bit of a fool when it comes to gardening. So foolproof works for me. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoy your salad garden. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I promise to take as good care of it as I can. Okay. Good. <laughs> this will probably be the best salad I've ever had.